presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great weekend. You are responsible for your own happiness. Happiness never comes from outside of you. If you put your happiness in someone else's hands, they can always take it away. Happiness can only come from inside of you and is a result of your love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have option expiration day. We're gonna have volume, folks. Bottom line, Dow Industrials down 348. NASDAQ's off 282. S&P's down 64. Gold, gold contract down $11, trading at $17.60 an ounce. We have silver down 48 cents, $19, eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, $90, 48 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down 23 ticks, trading 118.04. The 30-year off two points at 138.16 and king dollar. King dollar is up 662 ticks, trading at 108.147. The euro's one to one, par to the US dollar. The yen is out here at 136. And the British pound is at 118 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at it. What are you doing? Well, right now, it's going to be pretty cool looking at this, folks, because what we're doing, we're testing the spike low that was out here. Oh, look at the S&P already just broke it. Yep. Yeah. Well, actually, let me go to the, uh, so the S&P broke it. Let me go to the NQs, because the NQs, I believe, are coming right into it right now. So we get over to the NQs. The low is uh, 230. That's what it's trying to test right now. Now, it's interesting. We're at nine. Yeah, we're at nine minutes. Okay, so what we have here, let's take a look at this. So you got the spike low. The first one was 11,000 contracts. This one, uh, yeah, yeah, you're at 10,000 contracts, man. Yep, and you get a minute left. So we'll see how this shakes out. It hasn't hit it yet. The bottom line is that we're, we're right above it. We're, oh no, actually I hit it at 29. So this is, this is a big test here, man. Because if it blows it away, the bottom line, you're gonna go a lot lower coming into this close. But this would be the test and we'll see uh, how much, we only got seconds left. So we'll see how this shakes out. That being said, if we go over the E-minis for a second, what you're gonna see, uh, this baby did get below it. Let's see. Come on, come on, here we go. Okay, so that's a little, that's a different setup, man, interesting. So that, when well, now we had that spike down, that, that e mini had croaked this thing, man. Totally croaked this thing. Um, let's go, let's go take a look at this market. So, what we're looking at is this, and this is where I expect we're gonna go. You got, this gap is wide open. Okay, so the gap on the, on the SPY, 412.75, you're at 421. You're gonna have volume today. You know, yesterday we, we went up with 46, 49 million today, you're already down with 46. Excuse me, folks. <coughs> when we come into the close, you're gonna see the volume explode because the bottom line is that that's where the turns come, that's where everything else comes in. So we're at 37 million on the queues. We did 41 yesterday. The gap that's wide open is 319, right now you're at 322. Now the cool thing here, folks, is this, is that when you're looking at this market, right, the, you, you wanna coordinate the aspect of 
number one, where the dollar is, and number two, where this gap is, and then number three, what the volume is coming into that gap. Because my take goes like this. If we pull into the gap, like today we're going to have volume, but we very well on Monday could go hit that gap and have lighter volume, or it could be a turnaround Tuesday. You go into the gap, you reject the gap, you have lighter volume, guess what? Now they say you go right back topside. That's the first scenario. Second scenario is you come down with volume today, we go lower with expansion of volume, and if that's what we get, what you're going to see is that we'll end up doing a 50% retracement of the whole move higher. And if we take a look at this, and I'm talking about from the June lows, okay, you take a look at the 50% retracement, and the SPY, that would bring you down to 394. And right now you have 421. Now I can see that scenario coming across. The reason I can see that scenario coming across, because we know that the market's job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time. And there's no doubt that's the most efficient mechanism I've seen in my life to do that. And that would probably do it because of the fact that everyone would be on edge like, oh, no, man, we're going after the lows. We're going to break the lows. You get the gist of it, okay? Uh, it would be a much tougher market in general. Uh, as to where everything is going. So uh, it's going to be really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. We get into the uh, gold. Let's go take a look at gold. Gold continues not to have a bit. That's the real bottom line. I mean, the bottom, you know, we, we, we're down on light volume. You're, you're trading. Uh, it's 760. Uh, that being said, the bottom line is that this thing uh, can run down to 7. This, yeah, the 727, man. 727 is where we came off the low. The high of the low is 737. 727? 1727, yeah, 1727. And then if we go, go over and we take a look at King Dollar, what you're going to see with King Dollar out here is that King Dollar is up at this uh, 108,157. And I think it was, wants to go to the highs. Let's go to Gary in Tampa. Hey, Gary, what's going on? How are you, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Great. Um, a quick question uh, about the government bonds that I had heard you talk about yes. a while back. Um, so I'm looking at them. They're based on uh, inflation. Partial, That's correct. And then they have a fixed rate, correct? That's correct. Every three months. So every three months they adjust it based on inflation from that quarter or the quarter? The prior the quarter. Before? The prior quarter. Yes. Okay. All right. I tried to go online and get some and answers. And it's, get listen, the it's a great deal, so. man. That's the bottom line. It's, and it, it, what ends up happening is this. So picture this, folks. What happens is that uh, let's picture that a year from now, you know, you want to sell them, right? So the way it works is that you just wouldn't get paid for the prior quarter. That's how it works. So you can sell these things, which is amazing. Do you know what I'm saying? So they're longer term tips. I mean, they're longer term bonds, that's for sure. But you don't have to sell them to Iwana. And all you're going to miss out on is the interest for one quarter. Do you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool, man. All right. Well, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Okay, man. Have a and, great uh, one. Have a safe one. I'm listening to you over here in Tampa. That's a beautiful thing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us, Gary. See you later. Thanks, man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. of looming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in the Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Fessa Buhili, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here right now. Bingo. We have the Dow Industrials uh, trading down 303. NASDAQ is off 266. S&Ps uh, down uh, 57. And we just going to, I'm going to go over and look at these NQs best in the futures because it was coming in for a test. What and, is an NQ? An NQ is, this is the futures for the NDX 100. And so, what it did, see this one here, this had a high volume low. So this one here had the high volume low. That was, this is getting really intriguing because that was 11,000 contracts, that first one. See the volume's over here, right? I'm looking for this 11,000. And then we tested it with 10, oh, look at this folks. We tested it with 10,995. Now check this out. This is where it's gonna get cool. And then you just went top side with 12. So now it's just game. It's going to be really interesting to see into the close here. Yeah, this is option expiration. So what ends up happening is that there's plenty of folks that are playing white lightning. And what the white lightning is basically inside the option market is that, watch this. If you go over to the queues, and don't do this, folks, okay, unless you really trade every day. So you go over to the queues. So see at 322.77, the yeah. bottom line is if you were trading this white lightning, where I would go with this is that you'd, you'd stay in the money. You know, because you, then you're trading it. You can do like probably 10 uh, calls that uh, it would probably cost you a buck. And what you'd be looking for, that'd be the 322, and you'd be looking for this to go like 324, and you'd sell it out, and the bottom line is that you'd make a buck. But that's that's a grand, yeah. you know. But you can lose it just as quick in white light, and that's what it comes down to. It's crazy, huh? High it's a states. beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> but this is actually that that's it's, yeah. It's it's not yeah. So I'm seeing a lot of red. Oh, it's red today, oh, man. Yeah. What what do you think is happening? It's just uh... oh, my take is that we're pulling back. See, I'll show you this gap. There's a gap here, and we've been up so long that what tends to happen. See this gap. I see. That, and now you get an expansion of volume, so that's telling me that we're going to get there, but if we get an expansion of volume next week, we're going to get all the way down here. Okay. And that will get people really nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so let's, let's, I think we can kick this off, I think, with the MLS this week to see so where we're at. 
you know. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. So right what now. we're looking at, folks, is that this is the the MLS. That's the the amount of units that are for sale. The amount of units that basically have price decreases. Look at those price decreases, man. Yes. Yeah, so the price decreases are, are you know way more than the they're new accelerating. Now, so, right. You know. This is this is a lot, and then the solds. Can you, know, you just say what those numbers are, so because people have a hard time looking at that. So the the new listings were at uh, sixty seven hundred for yep. the week. That's for the Price week. decreases were at seventy seven hundred. Right, you know, a thousand so more. A thousand more. Right. And then solds were only at forty five hundred. Look at that. And what is happening here, folks, and I noticed this when I was just out, too. What Besser was talking to me about upstairs, folks, a little bit earlier was the aspect of when the frenzy was out there agents were paying two and a half percent sometimes they were paying two percent oh two and a half was the top right it was like one percent one right. and a half half right. a percent right yeah. and now it's now we're seeing three percent now you haven't seen three yeah. so watch what happened when i was out after this right yeah i start seeing houses for sale everywhere now the signs are on the streets again folks oh that's another thing isn't it we didn't even put signs no, exactly you, know, just you didn't need a sign right <laughs> now the bottom line is the signs on the street so you know let, let this thing is know. it's getting softer yeah for sure and you know, if you saw this article today, folks, okay, about the aspect of, uh, let me just, can I just see this for a second, just because, um, the, on Bloomberg, folks, there's an article today about the amount of uh, mortgage brokers going out of business. Yeah. So I just want to walk you through how this works, because this is, um, it, well, it's good technically understanding the market in general, okay? So let's say that Bessford and I opened a mortgage company. And, you, you know, just take this that, you know, if, if you guys, uh, uh, ladies, uh, tigers and tigresses, opened a mortgage company, right? Well, it's actually a lot easier than, than you think to, to open a mortgage company. The way, in the way you basically do it, you open it. I'd go to J.P. Morgan, one of the big banks, saying, okay, I want a line of credit. And what ends up happening, folks, is this. They're short-term lines of credit. It's mostly like 60 to 90 days. And when we're selling the mortgages, right, they, the reason that you do business for you, they want to package the mortgages and then send the mortgages out to the marketplace to sell them, okay, yeah. in a bundle. Well, what happened and this is why that so many of the mortgage brokers went bankrupt, and they went bankrupt, okay? This is, how, this is how fast this happens. Because let's picture that Bessford and I have a company. We, you know, basically, you know, let's say did 10, 15 loans, but at that point, we're still only up to about, you know, five or six million. They're gonna want 10 to 25 million yeah. in order to package. Well, what ended up happening was this, is that we would have got caught in the middle, okay, of the higher interest rates. So everything that we had, it's just like trading a stock. Everything yeah. we had, bang, we're yeah. hammered. Yeah. And then what JP Morgan does is that it's a mortgage, it's a margin call, yeah. and they shut us out. Yeah. And folks, this is amazing. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll take calls, Al, uh, any calls. Um, and how fast that can happen. Yeah. Particularly, man, well, it's a mind blower, folks, particularly when you're, when you're talking about, <laughs> you know, holding the type of interest rate mortgages that the market went up so fast. Yeah. I mean, the, the other thing, too, is, uh, you know, the beginning of the year, almost everything was cash. Right. So if you had these big loans and you were just holding it and you couldn't get any loans out there, that's right. Now you're just paying money. No, now you're just paying money. That's yeah. right. Let's go to Asim in Dallas. Asim, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing good. Good. I'm doing good. Good. Hey, a question about um, uh, SCCO, Southern Copper. You, uh, the, if the market goes down, that'll drag uh, Southern Copper with it. Where would you enter? Well, first, let's do this. I want to. I'm, I'm pulling up the copper contract first, okay? Because Southern Copper is the largest copper company in the world, and it's all right. about, um, you know, where the copper price is going. Okay, so when I look at this copper price, man, this copper price to me looks like it's going to go to 405, and right now you're at 366. So if we go over to SCCO and we take a look at it. Yeah, I'd buy it right here. 
buy it right here. Yeah. Okay. Because see this, see that. Let's see, fifty dollars right there. That has volume on it, right? Then you, well, yeah. at fifty dollars, we had two million. We backed down with one point five. You went up uh, again. What's that one there? One point four. You backed down with one point five. Yeah. I mean. And, and the yield it, you, is good too. I mean, if you if if you have to wait, you can keep collecting that six percent uh, dividend on it too. Yeah, and you know the bottom line is that, you know, yeah, look at that six point two percent right now. That's what this is shaking right. out at. You know, so yeah, it's it's, you know, what what's going to happen? You know, it used to just be China for cop for the copper yeah. market. Now the yeah. bottom line is that all your major car producers are going to be producing electric cars. Well, copper's the name of the game, man. So, okay. Thanks okay. for the call, Asim. Have a great one. Have a Thank safe you. one. Stay right there, folks. Bess and I are coming right back. We have the Dow down 295, Nasdaq off 258, S&P's off 56. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best of you, Huli, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you. You're rolling a problem with us out here. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. So let's take a look at that MLS on a... Uh, a one day and a three day also. So the seven day folks, you can see the acceleration of the um, price, decreases. price decreases and the amount of closes. The amount of closes folks, you know, if we went back, you know, even four weeks ago, or always over the new listings, yeah. meaning, you know, and, and you've read plenty of the stories that, you know, okay, there wasn't enough houses out there. No then, and you know what folks, the, the bottom line is that the people that actually write those stories really are not in, I uh, really understand the real estate market because what happens is this, as soon as prices go down, it's just like the stock market. 
as soon as prices go down, there's plenty of houses, man. Yeah. It, that's that's the essence of it. You know what I mean? That's yeah. how it works. So let's go. You're gonna do a tw oh look at this 24 hour 24 hour. Now that's a lot of houses for sale for the 24 hours, man. Yeah, almost 1,400. Yeah, you normally so, don't see that either. Yeah, and then the close. Now the price decreases are uh, up there, huh? Look at that. It's just it's okay. A lot. And then the so premium. you get new listings on 24 hours, 1,375. Decreases 1,146. Sold 827. Now let's do three days. Here we go. Okay, so three days, 4,200 new listings, 5,000 price decreases, and only 2,600 sold. See that? That's, you know what I love about this market, folks? Price and volume is my deal, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then you I see just, the back on the market, too. So oh, where's that now? Right over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you see. Well, yeah, let's talk about that because Best Fit got a call this morning, and um, what the call was about, he had a, um, Property that was up for sale. Yeah. So let's let's talk about it. Yeah, the property that was up for sale. How many months ago? So was this it? was. Uh, I want to say this was around April. Okay. And so, it's only, it's only August, so that's April. Yeah, right? April. So uh, I thought the house was worth about three three ninety. Yep. And we listed at four hundred. Okay. Right away, we we had seven eight offers and another four or five verbal offers. Yep. All over asking. Okay. The highest was four twenty. Right. Cash. Cash. 420. Yeah. No. And so what happened? The guy didn't want to sell it. He was like, oh, I don't want to sell it right so now. So right there, folks, right? We know this because we're in the market. What is that? Greed. <laughs> Greed kills. Greed kills. Right? Yeah, he just wasn't sure what he wanted to do. So he's like, I'm not selling. We're like, okay. So right. we took it off the market. I remember I this like, guy I, now. I, I remember this guy. Okay. You know, I can't force you to okay. sell it. but So now now let's fast forward to, was yeah. it last night he called or today? Uh, yeah, last night. Okay. Yeah. So now let's talk about the exact same, this is the exact same house, May, June, July, August, 120 days later, or maybe 95 or whatever. Yeah, and he wanted to know where the market is at. <laughs> and I was like, listen, you know. <laughs> this is sad. If you can get 390 now. Right. You, you should be lucky, right? Because uh, that's what it was worth back then, right? And the one when it was just really like high. that, folks. Just like that, bang. Okay. Yeah, that's thirty grand, and you know it could go even less. Yeah, no, I'm the with market you. up there doesn't move as much as down here because this is Newport Richie. Okay, right. So, right. you know, this is where you could lose some uh, some good money. That's pretty heavy, man. Now you know what I saw too. Yeah. Is uh, this house? I guess went uh, under, uh, or this lot, I should say. Went under contract, and we, we know this guy, right? Because he's uh, getting investigated by the federal, by a federal agency, SEC. Oh, really? Yeah, he was. Uh, it was like a Ponzi scheme. Really? And he yeah, is this all this a, oh, that's the guy from Tampa, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. So look at that. They they, they finally went under contract, and. Uh, you know, 18 million for a whole block, not too bad when you think about it. That's right, so maybe some of those people will get their money back. This was a scam out of Tampa, folks, okay? Yeah. He but he did buy some stuff, thank God. He did, yeah, and this was one of them where, you know, he bought it pretty cheap. One of them, I think, he bought for like 800,000. There's 10 lots, but okay, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. Now, there was another property I saw that, uh, you know this one as well, sold for 425, where is it? Uh, no, 475. So you had a lot right right across the street from this one. Okay. Now, the first person that bought this was for 25 grand. Okay. Like seven years ago. Yep. And now we're, we're at, uh, they just sold it at 475. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> and so what happens in Pinellas County, folks, there's no more dirt in Pinellas County. It, it, the thing that's amazing, so Pinellas County is the most dense county in all of Florida. More, now this is what, it doesn't even make sense. I remember when I started looking at the stats 12 years ago, that because you look at Miami, you look at Fort Lauderdale, and what the difference is, is that those are bigger cities than St. Pete or Clearwater, and, but what the difference is, we don't have any more land. Yeah. They have plenty of land that, and, and they do have plenty of land. It's just that everyone wants to live in the same place. Close to the water, yeah. yeah exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. No, so This is just a peninsula, right? There's, there's nothing else. Exactly, it's just, well, it's just like South Boston. That's what, that's what intrigued me about this place more than anything. Yeah. Because South Boston, Boston's a, a finger in the water, South Boston's another finger in the water. Pinellas County's a finger in the water. 
St. Pete's another finger in the water. So mm -hmm. it's the, the it's a defensible position, meaning that once you start, you have water all around you. So once you know people really start building, taking care of the properties, moving in, um, that acceleration goes pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, you know? we saw it here. In yeah, we it's, definitely it's, saw it. There's, it's, there's it's, no it's, doubt about that. It's crazy. Yeah. Now let's talk about insurance a little because we had. Uh, I believe we talked about insurance a little last week. Now, if you're in Florida, folks, okay, flat out, what you want to do is you want to call your insurance agent and you want to see whether they sell citizens. Because what also happens is that there's, I, I, here's, here's the story. It's a great story, man. Um, trying to get insurance for, you know, bottom line, another client. And what ends up happening is that this is farmers and farmers, you know, the, the, the insurance bill came in at what, 4,200? It was 4,200, right? And so I'm calling farmers up saying, hey man, you know, why aren't you basically uh, go out to, going out to, and, and by the way, the, the policy they wanted to write, it was a D-rated company, <laughs> okay? Yeah, exactly. So what ends up happening, I asked the agent, uh, you know, why don't you, know, don't you sell uh, citizens? They said, no, the, the main place doesn't let us sell citizens. I said, that's pretty cool. They don't let you sell citizens, but they let you sell a D-rated company. The reason they sell it, folks, okay, the bottom line, they're getting 30% commission. Yeah. My point is, is this. We got insurance on that, comp on that exact same thing. We wanted 4200 for, for $1,750. And the exact same coverage. And on top of that, this is what ends up happening. See, Citizens got a bad name in Florida like years ago. Scott came in, wanted to get rid of it all. Got rid of it, a lot of it. And took people to the cleaners again, okay? The bottom line, the state is behind Citizens. And, and right now, because we haven't got hit with a, a major hurricane, they have a lot of money. But the bottom line is that you're not, you're not going to default because it's a state-run deal. Yeah. So it's the best of all worlds, man. Yeah, and people don't realize it. That My point of this whole story, folks, is that people don't realize that that is the best deal out there. I mean, in a huge way. Yeah. Not in a small way. You know, huge. It's yeah. so... You know, check it out. That's the, that's the real bottom line. Yeah, um, everybody wants citizens right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they should, right? Yeah, I mean, that's just a, save so much money. It's it's crazy, man. Yeah. And you know, yeah, you get the gist of it. Dow, let's see where we're at here. So you you got it's going to be intriguing here. So we pull this up for a second. What you're going to see, we got two blurps and this volume coming in this blurp here too. So if we look at the cues, the cues probably want to run to this uh, 324.08. That's kind of how it's set up right now. We'll see whether it gets there. Stay right there, folks. Best of Diet coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down at 308. We get the NASDAQ off 263. S&Ps are off 58. And, you know, the, the reality... We got, this is the best of buy segment, folks. And, and the way that I'm looking at this, I mean, I'm looking for this thing to go lower. Okay. So I think. So we should wait. I think so, yeah. Maybe Monday or Tuesday. Well, we can, yeah, well, actually, let's, hey, yeah, folks, this, last week, this was an amazing buy last week. He, he got into Canopy last yeah. week. Look at this thing, man. I mean, that really worked out. There's this, there's the sign of strength. That was on Monday. You bought it here, yeah. right? 336 you got it at? What'd you get it at? I got, I got, I got it on Monday as well, though. Then, well, no, you got it Monday. That's right, because we yeah. put it at 330. And, hey, this is pretty cool, folks, okay? Picture this. This is brand new to them. And what happened is it didn't get closed, because we put it at 329, and it closed at 330. All right, it was 330 at the close. And I got canceled. But, but guess what? Monday morning, he woke up, and look at this. At 323, he got it at 326, and the thing went to 394, you're trading 374. Not bad. It's, it's better than not bad, it's, man. That's pretty good. That's, that's yeah, awesome. Put more money into it, huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> this is, this is, look at this. This is, yeah, Hey, folks, look at this. This is actually an ABC up. Look at this. So, 394. Two, man, this is a dollar forty A to B. Hey, this might be action, folks. That means it wants to go to five dollars. Nice. Where's five bucks? There's four eighty two. That's ice. That's how that's set up right now. And you can see, got a bad day in the market. It's pulling back into strength with uh, fourteen million shares versus twenty nine. So now, how many of these companies are out there? Um, There's a lot here. If we go like this, if I take this up, watch. I'll pull this up. This is. What this is here, this is the, uh, the this is the major companies in the business. You got Tilray, uh, True Leaf, um, Green Thumb, Cure Leaf. You know, we see a bunch of these around here. They got True Leafs around here. They got Cure Leafs around here, right? I haven't yeah. seen these other ones. So, Tilray, I'm not quite sure where they are either, but so Cure Leaf is pretty big. Uh, the biggest market cap was. Uh, yeah. What? Well, Four point one. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, right. for sure, man. Yeah. Yeah, the big way. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, you see them everywhere down here. You do. Yeah. You do. C U R A. Okay. C U R A. C U R A. Cure Leaf. Trading at seven fifty. Oh, look at this Wakefield Mass. Oh. That's wild, huh? Revenue. Look at man, they they take in a lot of money, man. One point four billion. And they're still losing money. Look at this, man. The the, the public markets blow my mind, folks. Okay, um, in the aspect that you, know, you can take in one point four billion and you can lose, you know, ten cents a share. I mean, that is wild. <laughs> Let's go to Jim in Palm Harbor. He wants to talk about citizen insurance. Hey, Jim, what's going on, brother? Hey, I was in the same boat. Uh, started with uh, FedNet for like six years, and the premium 
you get the creep from 2100 to 2400 to 29 to 3200 I'm ready to pay the bill and they canceled 68,000 policies because they didn't have 250 million to buy reinsurance from Lloyd's of London so I, I did go to citizens and my premium dropped to 1700 except the only problem with citizens is their max temporary rental is 35,000 what do you mean so temporary it, rental if, if you had a fire and it's going to take you a year and a half to build your house and start from scratch, yeah. they're only going to give you 35000 max temporary living expense. Okay. So at four or 5000 a month renting something temporary, that 35000 is going to last very long. So that's, that's the big negative with citizens. I see. But otherwise, the, you can't beat... Uh, I know someone that turned in a claim, and, and they had no problems at all getting, getting paid, getting the work done by citizens' own, own subcontractors. So they've really cleaned up their act in terms of customer service. Yeah, and the amount of money, you know, that you can save is extraordinary, man. I mean, yeah. it's day and night. And one you know? more thing about citizens too is their max um, structure value is only like seven hundred thousand. Okay. So if they value yeah, your I'm, structure, yeah, I'm under that value. But you know, it, interesting. I, I for the last forty nine days, I've been busting. Uh, just to get a condo rehabbed on the market, put it on the market this morning, and they have got a full price offer. But it's at two sixty seven. Yeah. Different. Where Where is the condo? Up Up in Palm Harbor, north of Tampa Road and Highland Lakes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Golf yeah. Best knows Palm Harbor well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I used to live there, so yeah. No. It's actually two two seventy five a square. Um, That's awesome, man. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? What you have, and this is what's really cool, folks. Okay, that price point is totally where it's at. Yeah. That, that's what's really cool. You know what I mean? It's, it's, and, you know, it's good you're putting on there now because, you know, we don't know where this I is was, going. I was rushing. I don't want to wait. Who knows what, what's going to happen two, four, six, even 12 weeks down the road, especially the bond market got hit today. I mean, I, the rates, rates are definitely going up. They are. Well, right now, if we look at the 10-year, right now, there you go. It's 2.9 again. So the low for the last three months was 2.5. We're at 2.9. The high is 3.4. And let's go take a look at this 10-year. So the 10-year the today, yeah, it's still, the, the good news is only a million contracts. So the 10-year is probably going back to, as you see, the bottom of the sign of strength is uh, 117.14. And we're at 118 right now. Because if, if, I'm very heavy into the TBT, but I can't find a 20-year index because that's what that's what that ETF mimics. 20 years. <laughs> well, it's you, 20 you can plus. See the yield on the 10, you can see it on the five, you can see it on the 30. Right. Well, here, let me show you something. Here, go like this. Watch. I'll do the curve. But I don't have a Bloomberg like you. No, no. Here's but here's the curve. Yeah. So what happens? It's at 20 plus. So what, what do you do? Is you basically take a look at this and you say, okay. See the 30s at 3.2 right now? So okay. the, the TLT, folks, is really, it's not 30-year bonds. It's 30-year bonds that have 20 years plus left on them. That's how it works. Oh, okay. I see. Right. That's, that's how that thing works. That's why you see, you can see the bond, look at the 10-year and the 30-year down, but yet the TLT is up. And that has and it's amazing. The TLT is down 1.65%, and the TBT is up 3.2%. That's right. The and that's, that's because... Interest. Now you've, ex you've explained it why, because it's an average of the 20-year remaining, not, not a 20-year... That's correct. A 20-year bond. Right. I learned something today. That's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> and we appreciate I, I, your phone call, man. We want more of these phone calls, you know, so we can all help each other and get and doing everything. And in this case, insurance, which is really freaking awesome, yeah. man. Do you know what I mean? So, Actually, to be honest with you, I, I think that that would be something to put the brakes on the market more than the interest rates because people, you know, we, we all remember when they were 13, 14, 15 percent when we were growing up. And, and you know, it, it's nothing to go to five from five to six, six and a half. It's nothing. I agree. Yeah. Totally, man. My, my first one. house was 14 and a half. Can... The difference was, of course, folks, okay, you're dealing with a lot smaller number. I yeah. bought a three decker for $14,000. Yeah. I had a sub shop in the first floor. I lived in the second floor, and I rented the third floor for $250, and my mortgage is only $240. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Living and now, Living that's in South Boston. Now that house is three million dollars, a million dollars a floor. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And we have no inflation out there. Yeah, I know. Seriously, man. <laughs> hey, Jim, you have a great one to say for, man.
Thank you. Take care. Stay Bye-bye. right here, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down at 266. Nasdaq's off 246. S&Ps are off 52. Best and I come right back, folks. around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down 280. Nasdaq's off 257. S&P's off 55. And when we are looking at this MLS, and we had some questions, folks. So the MLS that we're looking at, what is the? How big is the section? It's definitely Tampa, right? Too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you're, you're going from. Um, so here, I'll show you guys. Okay, cool. So when you do new listings, yeah, I'll show you where it's going to get populated. Okay. So you basically got, uh, you know, Tampa, yeah. Orlando. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, it's, it's a very large part of Florida, There's folks. a whole central Florida. Right, right. Central here, Florida so. to the left coast. So, yeah, you're basically going down to Sarasota. Yep. Not quite to Fort Myers. Right. But, uh, yeah, just around here. Right, which so. is quite a bit. Yeah. Which I mean, is, are, well, you get you, St. Pete, Clearwater, Tampa, Orlando. Lakeland. That's where a lot of things are growing. Orlando is a monster, yeah, folks, so. okay? Yeah, there's no doubt about that. So you know? It covers a lot, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what else are we looking at? Uh, what do you, what do you, you, well, you got, well, this is interesting, folks, okay? You talk about the first ones out. Bessford, he's having a hard time selling this house, and then he was almost going to get two bids, 
And then another house just popped up in the same neighborhood, though, right? Yeah. Well, that's what you're just telling me. That's a little bit cheaper, so, you know, there's competition, obviously. Right, so. right. And this is what happens, folks. If you're moving your house out, right, get real about it. Get real about the price, and you got to beat everyone else out because that's how it goes. It's just like selling in the marketplace. My take is that if you trade, you have a huge advantage on moving product, period. Yeah. Okay, because the bottom line, yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. What's it worth right now? Yeah. Right now, right here. And that's it. That's it. And I know it's hard, but it's easier if you're a trader. <laughs> it's a lot easier. <laughs> you know what I mean? No doubt. Yeah. Predicting stuff is hard, so. It is. Yeah. It is. There's no doubt. Another day, man. Another day, yeah. So I guess uh, we'll buy some stocks next week or the following week. We sure will. There's yeah. no doubt about that. The always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a great weekend, a safe weekend. On this update, I'm going to get you all the volumes out here because I suspect we hey come down with volume, and we are going after that gap. Stay tuned Monday. Tommy's kicking us off 9 o'clock. Great show. Thanks, brother. Wow! Look at them, folks! Building wealth.